Hey there, I'm Jackie Montgomery for SoundersFC.com. Now when you talk about the biggest rivalries in Major League Soccer, you have to include when the Sounders face off against the Portland Timbers. And with Saturday's match marking the 80th all-time meeting between the two teams, it's safe to say the players, coaches, and fans are all looking forward to this very match. It's a big game. It's a big game for, for ourselves. It's a big game for our, our fans and our, our supporters. And uh, certainly last year was a, it was a great feeling when we walked off the field in our home game with a, a packed house and with that win. And it was a, a gut-wrenching feeling when we lost uh, at, at their place. But, uh, you know, the game will take on, uh, as always, a very special and unique atmosphere. You see some games like Arsenal, Tottenham or Liverpool, Everton and the atmosphere just goes up to a different level. Um, it's not like there's more fans or something in the stadium but it's just they just bring their A game and the players need to do the same as well. And so I think these derby games, it's amazing for the league, great for us, great for them. The fans get into it, the players get into it and it's just an unbelievable atmosphere. And um, Saturday night already you come out and playing in front of our fans is great every time but I think Portland always is just a little bit more. One person who knows this rivalry well is defender Zach Scott who's been playing in these derby matches for over 10 years and credits last year's home win as one of the greatest. That home game, and I was one of those, uh, you know, just the build-up to the game, um, you know, just our, our, our TIFO, uh, just everything, like just culminating into one of those feelings where, I, you know, I didn't play in the game, but it was like I would have ran through a wall to get on the field, you know? Like it was just, it was so exciting and so cool and just like, Wow! Like this is where this is where my career has come. It's part of what we live with. It's part of uh, you know our culture as a club and and the culture here in the Northwest that the rivalry exists between the three teams and it's something that's competed for every year and it's something that we know brings pride to our fans and uh, and helping uh, rewarding our fans is always big in our minds. Such a cool rivalry and it's just great to see it continue. You know, from playing Portland in front of 2,500 people at a uh, you know, under the Space Needle um, to, you know, playing in front of 60,000 people at, you know, Century Link was just, it was just cool, you know, it was just a, a good feeling. And then to win 3-0 is just, you know, icing on the cake. The team will try their best to reward their fans and themselves with three points when they take to the field Saturday night. Kickoff is set for 5 p.m. It'll be fun. Don't miss it. Me preguntaron si podría hacer un anuncio y pensé que era porque yo juego para los Seattle Sanders. No puedo, porque mi inglés no es muy bueno. That's true. Entonces me dijeron que el anuncio era de padres, niños y familias. Eso es muy importante para mí y le dije que yo hago lo que puedo hacer. No importa cuál idioma tú hablas, hay un idioma universal que nuestros niños comprenden y necesitan. Y es el amor y el cariño de los padres. Be a good parent, a same ball in your child's life. 